Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds DLC where I'm playing this game much longer than I thought I was going to. I was like, oh, I'll just play for two hours and I'll be... But no, I am basically reaching the end game of this DLC and especially with that reveal I with Hephaestus. I do not want... If only I had the better drip caster! Dang, if I had the explosives one, I wouldn't have to leave this platform at all. Not really, anyway. Kind of. I am not. We're just not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be good. This is gonna be messy. Very messy. My usual plan. I can't do it. Alright. Just gonna, just gonna have to go in swinging. There's nowhere to hide, nothing. We will not back down. Oh my gosh, how did you get up here? Nope. Oh my gosh. It is a good thing I am playing on easy baby mode. Jeez. Your song is Goodness gracious, this is not my best work, but... But we're doing it. I suppose I can't be too upset. I am in this for the story. Oh my gosh, it's just... Freaking, it's like a snake. Like a viper. It bites me from beyond the grave. Why does this look like it's going to be more complicated than I want it to be? I thought there were more. Did we really kill them all? Or is her, her weapon and his weapon are just really powerful? Does he get... Oh yeah, he still has his little ice weapon. It's nice to have powerful NPC companions, so you don't have to do all the work, but... I noticed in Forbidden West right now that um, I haven't seen a lot of it because I haven't gotten very far, but um, um, oh dang, nice, um, come on, jump up, no, we can't go up, only down, okay, that sometimes they'll do finishing moves on, and on creatures or I guess machines that I knock down, so that's nice. Like I don't mind having the help. I think I lose a little XP, but I'm not. I'm like not that not that concerned about it, you know. This is freaking Hephaestus, like a freaking help my allies. What, can't you guys do the thing? Can't can't they not? What? Can't they climb like I can? I'm like, la 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 la. No, apparently they cannot do this. I guess they are old. <laughs> Aloy's like freaking 18. Oh, I got it back. Oh, 
I did this one. So why aren't they crossing? Can they... Yeah, they should be able to... That one, all I had to do was walk. How am I supposed to get him across here? Oh, freaking here you are. Oh my gosh, are they stuck down here? We need to get a ray on or a talk across. Oh, I thought they were gonna just... Okay, well, all right then. I'm also used to being by myself, I think. So the fact that I have to babysit people, maybe it's a bit of practice for the next game. Although currently in the next game, slight spoilers, Aloy's doing her very best to alienate herself from everybody around her. <laughs> like, it's really unhappy. It makes me very unhappy. And I know it'll get better, but... And now it's my turn. <laughs> What's... what? Oh! Oh! Okay, alright. That works. Ah, I was like, I see the box. Assessment for form for classification of machine artificial intelligence, confidential pro property to the MIE, no part of this document, blah, 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 cyan. Summary, third test, of sentience is assessed at 0.54 within legal limits, weighted against the results of other tests, of subject prior score of 0.61 is considered a false positive. Of course it is anything to freaky fit whatever arbitrary ethical thing you've decided to try to follow for the sake of appearances. Um, assessment derived from percentile scores in the following qualitative subjects. Pain response, pain response, humor response, emotional aptitude, aesthetic evaluation, morality evaluation. See attached forms for detailed analysis and summary of testing criteria. Curie, blah, blah, blah. Evaluate a recommendation maintained by annual assessment schedule. Continued monitoring is strongly advised in light of such as proximity to category maximum sentence, sentience. Category. Well, what are you measuring this out of? If it's a 0.54 and a 0.61, like what's the maximum sentience? I would assume it's one. And halfway there isn't near. Ooh, I'm looking at them. I really haven't gotten many of the data. Well, those are the world data points, that's why. Looks like I missed a couple maybe early on. That's unfortunate. I might have to look those up. These are definitely fine, though. I will probably look them up if I if I have indeed missed some, because this is ooh, this is all stuff that can be very useful for the next game. Man, how long has it been in here doing this? Yeah, I know. Shut up. The purple and the yellow looks really cool. I can't I can't freaking see anything. Activate the console. Good good. I'm glad I saw that apparently cuz I freaking I have no idea. Can we go down there? Oh. Can they follow me? Oh, there was an easier way. Haha. <laughs> ha. To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. Mm. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the demon. And it may have found one. I should actually look. Because it says it keep. I forgot to notice this last time. Or I did notice it, but I forgot to check. Apparently, it is attaching additional data to these hologram points. Um. Yeah. 
Oh wait, no? Is she... So she hasn't attached additional... what? The swarm. November twenty eighth. Operation uh -huh. Victory is all over. Okay, the okay, okay, okay. The Pharaoh swarm is coming. Has to be what Anita is trying to hide Firebreak from. But that means she thinks we'll lose. That the swarm will reach Yellowstone. My god. In that scenario, pretty much everyone dies. Everyone except Cyan. So yeah, in the last one, the last audio file we had from him, like, he was starting to figure it out, I think, that he needed to put her on, like, some sort of lockdown. Cyan. So that she wouldn't generate enough power to be noticed. Machine parts. Dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. And Why can't you guys do it? Oh, rappel down? Oh. I love this weapon. Can I not stay up top? I don't like going down. Trying. That's just petty, honestly. To like put its little globule on one little climbing thing. No. Okay. Well, and this also means that, uh, listen, I know they keep saying that. That Kenny probably won't survive. And, like, if Anita is a project lead. Like, she wouldn't have, may maybe she would have brought Kenny as, like, her one person or whatever. <laughs> or, you know, you could bring, like, your family or, like, two people or something. <laughs> oh, that's not good. If I get all the way across and realize there was something I was supposed to do to help them get across on the <laughs> other side, I'm gonna scream. Oh my gosh, I was gonna scream. Uh. Oh, geez. oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tried to turn around at the last second. Hmm. Okay, I should be able to get over here. I would be afraid that these would electrocute me, maybe. Like, I realize it's like the electromagnetic, I don't know, ability that lets them kind of fly, air quotes, but still. Oh. Ah. The others will have a lot easier time getting here. Yeah, well, hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is no fun. This babysitting duty, not a fan. And I have to wait. I mean, it makes sense that they have like the companion open. Oh, and they like that. They have the companion opening, <laughs> so that you this looks like the wait for them. We're close now. 
I'm gonna cry. One last exchange of media. Via chat attached to this entry in case anyone ever finds this. We'll never see her again. Neither will Cyan. And I've got to tell her that too. Man. After I put the pieces together about the swarm, there's a million things I could have done. Contemplated my own death, contacted everyone I've ever known and loved, gotten drunk. But of course, being me, I obsess about whether or not I should text Anita. Whatever persistence is being mounted against the war machines, she's part of it. Who am I then to bother her? Would she even be able to respond? If she's dealing with the military, would her communications be monitored? But she saved me the trouble. Gotta admit, I was a little disappointed when her message didn't consist of I will always love you. Instead, she wanted data samples from science, confidential log, the ones that pertain to emotional response. Under any other circumstances, I would have refused the very thing we tried to keep secret for years and she wants to share it. But I sent the log because she wouldn't ask if she didn't need it. I can't understand why, though. It sounds like she's helping to develop an AI, but how could that possibly help stop the swarm? I guess I'll never know. There was so much I wanted to say to her, but none of it seemed fair. I'm guessing she has her hands full trying to save the world, and frankly, I remember that feeling. In the end, I settled for an ineffectual confirmation, hoping against hope that she would cast aside my fears. Nope. Kenny, is it as bad as I think it is? Worst. Go be with your sister and tell Cyan that I said goodbye. Wow, she can't even... I mean, I, don't, I know she's busy, but it's like... You could... She knows what's gonna happen. Like, I, you can't save everybody, right? And like, But it still feels really... Like, maybe Anita had somebody else she wanted to bring in family or whatever. Like, you can't save everybody you have ever known, but... Man, it's rough. Like, for, and it's rough to be Anita in this situation, right? Where, like, she knows that him and his sister are gonna die. And the only consolation she can give is that you could die together, you know? So that's it, untold destruction awaits, billions of lives, my own, my family's, and yet in my mind, it keeps coming back to Anita. I'll never see her again, feel her touch, hear her voice, no final embrace, no closure. That desire to end things properly, that need, shames me when I think about my dithering over Cyan. I've gone over every possible scenario, every possible version of the speech, trying to predict how she react when I tell her, well, what I need to tell her, but that's the thing, I can't predict her reaction for one very simple reason. She's human in every way that matters. I've got to be there for her to give her the moment she needs, just like the rest of us, it's at least the very least she deserves and this yeah this guy's situation is complicated like it's all complicated right and like it's not gonna be like none of not all of these are gonna be happy endings right well not everyone's gonna die horribly like no one's gonna die <laughs> it's just, just uh, it's like really rough when you start thinking about it right and i don't know why but i am thinking about it in ways that make me tear up about it just what would you do you know like your family your friends i if you had the power to save the world, like, I, there's just, there's so much. This game's just so good at being so much, but only giving you tidbits of it, right? Hello, you're not showing up on my map. Last room pass. I'm Joshua. Josh, sweetie, hope all is fine with you and your mom. We really should get better in touch. I've taken a post in New Zealand. With that program they've got for young people returning to the country, they want to be absolutely certain it's safe. At the moment, I'm making a survey of the caldera top of blast from the past, indeed. At any rate, I don't know if you already saw on the Wyoming News Hollow, but remember the fellow Dob Levins? Of course you do. Well, they finally found what became of him. I've copied the good bits below. Hugs and snogs is the spring thaw reveals body of missing man. I was wondering because they did say he died. The retreat of the winter snows has brought closure for a missing person case that went unsolved for nearly 15 years. Human remains identified as those of Dodger Dodd Blevins, who disappeared in 2046, were located at Purple Mountain inside the former Yellowstone National Park. The previously undiscovered body emerged on Purple Mountain as the result of meltwater flows after an unusually warm winter. It was discovered by feral servitors conducting a survey of the train. Authorities believe that the cause of death was an accident involving an antique vehicle designed for winter travel. Oh, um, I wonder if it was a snowmobile, an antique vehicle. Because that's actually, um, for those who don't know, that is a very popular thing to do in Yellowstone in the wintertime. You can't get in there by car, that shut the park down, but they can, um, they do let you do park tours on snowmobile. It's the best time, apparently, to see the wolves, if you want to see the wolves. I'm not sure why you would see a wolf when you're on, like, a raging snowmobile that's, like, you know, making a thousand decibels of noise, but apparently it's easier to see them because there's less foliage. So you can see them in the trees, and of course they're out a little more active, like, you know, looking around more for food in the winter, so. Well, I think I got all of the 
data points in here in this area that I'm in. I wonder though if it was an actual accident or done on purpose and I can hear it. Ugh. It's talking. Also, science, human, or maybe, okay, so they didn't make her out of a human being, I think, but they, and Anita's not cyan. Voice of the demon. But they, um, they essentially did what they did with Gaia, right? They made an AI that was essentially, like, functions the same as a human. The altar. Oh my gosh, I can hear what it's saying. He's talking about like blueprints and like activating things and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm going to have to call it here, I think. I apologize if it's a little short, but I think if we go in here, it'll get a little long. So <laughs> it's so hard to talk quietly. Let me tell you. Oh, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, uh, my sapling tier patron, and to Christopher, um, my, my my tree tier patron, yes, um, who's the super bestest. And thank you so much for your support. Um, thank you all again for watching. I'm sorry I'm losing my voice trying to talk quietly, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>